It's been a week and a half since a historic deadly earthquake rocked parts of Turkey and Syria. Tonight, rescue and recovery efforts are still going on overseas. A week later, they're still finding people underground. It's miraculous, really. Back here in Central Texas, though, members of the Waco Fire Department are training for these horrific incidents to help save lives when minutes matter most. Six News anchor Bailey Bates talked to them today to get their perspective on the work that's going on overseas. Bailey? Lindsay, Chris, Waco Fire Department Station 1 contains members of the technical rescue team. They're trained to help in many different types of situations like swift water, combined space, trench rescues, and also structural collapse, just like the situation going on in Turkey and Syria. Video from the recovery and rescue work going on over there shows incredible stories of people still being found alive days after the earthquake. They're working against piles of concrete that can collapse as crews are working. Nick Guerrero has been a part of the technical rescue team for nearly five years. He says the success stories are possible because of the highly trained individuals working the mission. You can see in the videos that when these patients are coming out, they've already got IV set up and I'm sure they're getting some type of pain management and fluids as well. So they're doing a great job of locating and accessing these victims and then being methodical about extracting them from the collapse zone. Guerrero says it's about going slow and being strategic about the rescues. Tonight at 10, we'll hear more perspective about the work going on overseas, including some of the challenges that the rescuers and first responders are facing while they're working those missions. For now, reporting in Waco, I'm Bailey Bates for 6 News. They are true heroes. Bailey, thank you.